quick. So quickly in this video, all I'm gonna show you is how to do an exploded view. That's what it's called, right? So I'm gonna go over here to uh, the design and click on animation. And this is basically going to create a little video of how things start moving. Right, we need that view for the drawings, just like the ones that I, I have and that I already saw you. So I'm gonna click on storyboard, and, you know, click on your storyboard, clean, yeah, okay, just press okay. And now that I'm here, I'm gonna click on the parts, right? I'm gonna click on zoom out a little bit. I'm gonna click on the pin here. I'm gonna go to transform over here, and I'm gonna click on manual explode, or I can put letter E. I'm gonna click on this top arrow which show, to show the direction. And I'm going to drag this out. You can see maybe up to here, that's fine. Press okay. I'm gonna select the next part. If I press the letter E, it does the same thing. Click the top arrow and then, you know, play around with the scale. That is good there. So you see that it makes this little video that if you play it, right? It's showing you how things are opening. If you have a part, let's say you have an assembly that has multiple parts, right? Something super complex. Uh, usually parts of the assembly, it, the exploded view is really helpful because you can see all the parts coming in and coming out. You can see, you know, something really cool as the parts are, you know, assembling themselves. So that's basically what it, what it does, right? It's saved here. So um, all I have to do, you know, is once again, just go back to design. This will be saved. Um, I can do this and now I'm going to start with the drawing.